Hey gang, back with another video for you today. I'm in LA and I'm at the Harmonist Boutique. We're gonna go in and check out the fragrances from this line. I'm sure you've heard me speak about them, but here we are. Uh, they have a great collection of fragrances and we also have uh, Sabrina back there. She's going to talk to us about the line. So if you're curious to find out about this fragrance house and also have a chance at winning a sample set, a discovery kit, from The Harmonist, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. Let's find out all about this brand. So Sabrina, how long has the, the store been here? The store's been here since 2016 and the brand originated in Paris, France, where we've combined the five elements of feng shui into scent. And so what you see here is our olfactorium table where you can smell all the fragrances individually at, in their truest form. We have 16 different fragrances ranging in different concentrations where we emphasize both yin and yang energies through scent as well as the five elements of feng shui. So you have the five elements being fire, wood, water, metal, and earth, but we went a step further and emphasized those elements with yin and yang energies. And so you have something that's a little bit softer in scent, that's the yin energy, and you have something that's a little bit bolder in scent, that's the yang energy. We have 16 different fragrances ranging in different concentrations, not only that tell um, different stories, but have different purposes catered to your personal element. Over here we have our olfactorium table where our guests can put their nose up to the olfactorium and smell the fragrances in their truest form. And so we have ceramic tiles in there that hold down the fragrance where it gives you just a smooth experience as well as coffee beans on the side to cleanse your palate. But you can compare and contrast the different elements as well as you can compare and contrast one element in both yin and yang energies. So you have the black olfactorium that represents the yin energy because in um, feng shui, black represents yin. And then you have the white olfactorium that represents the yang energy because it's very, um, I would say, bold and it reflects light where you have the black which it absorbs the light which is um, the yin energy. There's also an emphasis with the black olfactorium being a yin energy. It's also considered more of a feminine energy where it's a little bit softer and lighter. And then you have the white olfactorium that represents more of a masculine energy and being more of a um, bolder fragrance and bolder scent in general. And over here we have um, our best seller. This is called Yin Transformation and this tells the story of the water-like movement of the Yin energy transforming into a Yin. And I like to classify the story as uh, you know somebody who is you know growing up in life and becoming a little bit more mature and they're flourishing into an extrovert a little bit more. Um, but the scent here and the blue represents the yin energy as well. But the scent here is a little bit more floral, creamy, and musky, but very bold and um, strong of a fragrance, which gives it that yang energy as well. We wanted to create a boutique that um, a consumer can experience all the five elements. And we didn't want to just congregate all five elements within that small table. And so we have a replica of all of the fragrances that you can still go through and smell, but through a different kind of showroom. And so we've expressed the five elements um, within our store for somebody to also experience. And so on the wall you have here are the five elements. This one we recognize as the fire element. You have the wood element, water, metal, and earth. And this is in no particular order, as it should be, but it is not. And then you have the stone here, um, malachite, which helps absorb any negative energy. And this also kind of brings a lot of calmness and serenity to the boutique. Where when people come in, they just kind of take in a deep breath and, and, and they feel very relaxed here, because that's our main goal, is to make you feel comfortable and relaxed and you know really explore and enjoy the journey that we take you on through um, our fragrances, all the way to finding your personal element, which we'll go into later. So another fun fact about The Harmonist is all of our bottles are um, eco-friendly because we are able to offer refills to our clients so when you purchase the bottle you only buy it once and you can just keep refilling it through there but another fun fact is that our bottles not only um, are an ancient Chinese Chinese medicine bottle where they always fit perfectly in the palm they also contain the five elements where you have the metal cap the water on the inside which is the fragrance you have the fire blown glass 
And then you also have the paper box, which represents the wood. And then on our bottles with the cap on, they have the ceramic tile on top from Belgium that represents the earth element. And so not only do you get to come here and experience the five elements, you get to take those five elements home with you too. And so with those five elements within your packaging, I'll walk you over to our refills and it's an easy process for people to refill their bottles because we give you the funnel in, inside the package as well as the same fluid ounces um, that you would buy if you were going to buy the bottle on its own. And then here we have our sample set which one of your lucky subscribers will get to take home as we will be giving it away. And inside this you get five of the yin fragrances in five of the yang, a little booklet that shows and talks about the philosophy of the harmonist, where we came from, a little bit about our founder, and then behind the booklet you get a little ceramic that you can leave in your car, in your closet, or at home um, that you can spray routinely to also try out different fragrances um, and experience them on your own. So now in this portion Sabrina is going to show us our feng shui consultation? Correct, and so through our app, you can find your element either on our website or through our app in the App Store to find your personal element. So it's going to ask you little bits and pieces of your information. Sebastian, S-E-B, oops, and the last name is J-A-R-A. -A. What do we have here? Female or male? Well, I, I go by male. Okay. <laughs> it's West Hollywood. You never know. No. <laughs> and then your birthday? It's September 23. And then the year is 70. So this is all done to, what is it, what is it for, the, the age and all that? It auto-populates with the Chinese calendar in where it helps calculate um, by using your birthday, the time of birth, and okay. where you were born to find your element within the Chinese okay. calendar. And so where were you born? The country is Lebanon. And okay. then your time of birth? I think it's around 1 a.m. in the morning. 1 a.m almost there um, since the company is still fairly new we're working out the kinks on our back end mm -hmm. to uh, send you your element through your email but for today we send you home with a card I see and so your element is yang fire and being a yang fire you are warm friendly and open and so we describe yang fire as somebody who's a big ball of fire who's very extroverted and bright and strong and um, Okay. very extroverted but you can read all about it when you take the quiz about your personality what the relationship looks like for a yang fire and the celebrities that also share it cool and you can see their matches so we are now here to smell some fragrances correct and i was a yang fire correct you're okay. a yang fire which translates to the harmonist as velvet fire and so this would be your scent there you are so by putting in the dates and the, the time and mm -hmm. the place I was born, mm -hmm. it says this is the one that's appropriate for me? So by putting in that little bit of information, we're able to calculate your fragrance through that because we've created that this fragrance based off of that element. Okay. And so it kind of, it'll go hand in hand. So then the fragrances I like from this house, from your house, uh -huh. the brand, are the two waters. Okay. I like the... Sacred water. Okay. And then the other water. Guiding water. Guiding water, which I yes. reviewed, which I love. I, I love guiding water. That's actually my element. I'm a yin water. Oh. And so when I spray guiding water, it makes me feel very comfortable. And it makes me feel, have you ever heard the term like, oh, I'm in my element? Mm -hmm. That's where like this kind of, you know, can play in hand in hand and really making that metaphor like come to life. I see. So when you spray velvet fire, you know, you could feel a little bit more in your element, a little bit more comfortable um, in your environment. And then, you know, for me, it's yin water and we have um, the yang versions of that as well. So if you need like a little push to feel a little bit more, a little bit more extroverted or a little bit more introverted, we have the opposite. We have the yin to your yang and I have my yang to my yin. Mm. And so the yin to your yang would be hypnotizing fire. So let me go grab that for you. So you've separated it with the white bottles here and the black bat bottles on the other side where we were originally a little while ago. So why separate them when they're kind of the same element? If we separate them for the energy differences oh, okay. because the black bottles are the yin bottles and then oh, you have the white bottles that are the yin, uh, yang bottles. Okay. 
And there's the yin to your yin. See how you like it. I actually like both of them. This one's very pleasant, very mm -hmm. easy to wear. Mm -hmm. The notes on the first one were... You have tobacco, oud, and uh, lavender. So you, you're saying there's tobacco and oud, and those are the notes that I associate with being very strong, but mm -hmm. this is a very pleasant fragrance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really nice. Well, you also have clary sage in there, too. Okay. So it's a nice combination of, of a little bit of everything that represents the fire element in um, one bottle. So then this is, is this a popular one in your... Yes. So Velvet Fires are one of our most popular ones, but our best seller um, would actually be the yin version of it, um, Hypnotizing Fire. And, yes, this one. Yes. And then Yin Transformation. Okay. These are both good. Thank you. Can we also uh, smell, there's a woody one that I really like, golden wood? Yes. Okay. Is it a white bottle? Correct. Okay. So golden wood is the yang wood. It's a very strong structure. It's my, my take on golden wood and being a yang wood, they're a very structured, strong person. I really like this one. Yeah. I am a very structured, strong person. <laughs> I mean, I, I might come off as being very quiet. Uh -huh but when you get to know me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is really nice. It's very, very woody, but it's also very ambery. Yes, so you do have amber in there as well as cedar, beeswax, mm. uh, malted barley. Um, barley? Mm-hmm. And so it's very, uh, it is very warm, but it's very warm woody, where you have velvet fire, which is a little bit more of a, I'd say it brings on a whole different tone to warmth, but it has not as much of a woody note to it as golden wood does. Can we also smell the opposite of this one and also the in transformation? Yeah, no, of course. So the opposite of golden wood is? Uh, magnetic wood. Magnetic wood. So it has notes such as iris, you have green mandarin that you'll first smell. It's a very citrusy fragrance and it's very fresh. It's been very popular for spring. as Very zingy. Very zingy. And um, people have been so much more attracted to it, given you know wow. summer's here, and uh, they want it's a good day fragrance for people who want something upbeat and fresh, and kind of puts a smile on their face. Cool. All right. So then we also have uh, Yin Transformation. So this is Yin Transformation. It came out last year. This is again one of our best sellers because there's nothing else like it on the market. Uh, not to mention the color of the bottle. Um, is something that we customly made, and it's beautiful when it hits the sun. You can mm. hit, you can see in the within the blue the reflex of the white and purple. And it nice. takes on a whole different uh, approach. Very fresh but intense. It is very fresh and intense, and this tells the story of having um, a lot of the yin fragrances, <laughs> of having a lot of the ingredients that our yin fragrances ha have, but amplifies them into a yang energy where they're very bold and strong. And, um, but it just kind of shows, it'll kind of come and go, um, the water-like balance between um, both energies of yin and yang. Okay. Really good. Thank you. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah, my favorites happen to be golden wood, yin transformation, sacred water, mm -hmm. and then uh, guiding water. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, this one's a... Uh... But all of them are great. <laughs> all of them are great. Thank you. It's really fun to um, to have one of our clients come in. They really enjoy mixing and matching. So somebody who is, you know, a yin water, they'll go and put on velvet fire with a little bit of desired earth with a splash of magnetic wood, and it's like their perfect scent, and they just are in love with it. Cool. And so I always encourage, um, you know, looking into sample sets or our collection kits to, you know, continue to customize and find something that's a little bit more true to your element and um, something that is a little bit more custom and personal to you. Okay. So. That's awesome. <laughs> so I'm hoping that you guys had a great time watching uh, this video with Sabrina from The Harmonist. If you're ever in Los Angeles area, make sure to visit here. This is a very, very popular area. It's this considered Melrose Place. It is Melrose Place. And you know it from the show. <laughs> <laughs> but we also want to do that giveaway as mentioned. Um, so the Harmonist uh, is giving away one discovery set of their samples. It's a uh, 10. Is it 10 here? Yes, just 10 fragrances. 10 here. And then there's the booklet. And then there's also the little uh, ceramic, ceramic right behind, the behind there. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is valued at $65. $65. Can we also include one sample of the... Yin Transformation? Yin Transformation? Oh, you know <laughs> okay, cool. More than happy to. All right, cool. Um, so, guys, if you want to participate in the giveaway, let us know what you like about this video. Let us know what you like about the brand as well. 
And then also let me know if one of the fragrances that we discussed uh, caught you and are very interested or excited about mm -hmm. it. Any last things you want to mention? Are there some fragrances coming out in the future? We do have some fragrances coming out in the future, but I can't say much about them. Oh, darn it. But um, I would definitely, we have a, you know, a very astonishing window outside that we change routinely um, with new fragrance launches. So I always recommend people coming by just to take a look at the beautiful artwork that's done. Um, I'd say every year or so. Yeah, and you have such a beautiful store. Oh, thank you. It's Appreciate amazing. it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. <laughs> so guys, uh, if you have any questions or comments, please do list below. Other than that, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs>